Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom map. Um, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I'm just going to show you how to make a custom map and put your own like custom icons or the icons that are available to use. So say you want to make a custom treasure map, right? And you want to say you want to lead your friends to like a specific spot to get treasure or whatever. You know, you want to make a custom treasure map, right? And you want to specifically put in, you know, the X icon, the X um, the red X, wherever you want, you know, like a, like a treasure map. Um, I'm be showing you how to do that. So this is, all you need is Minecraft. You don't need like an external program or anything like that. You just need to use a website. Um, so you want to get a map, right? Um, I'm just in creative mode, but you can do this, uh, in survival. You just have to have cheats. Um, it won't work if you don't have cheats. You need to use commands. Um, uh, say I want to put like my treasure, like over here. I'm going to use the map right here. And you have to make sure that wherever you're going to put the icon or like wherever you're going to, um, you know, say wh wherever you're going to put like the red X icon. Um, this might make sense later. You have to make sure that it's in, it's within the map coordinates. Um, if I want to put it like over here instead, it's not going to show up because I'm off of the map, as you can see. So you have to use, make the map um, wherever you want to put in the little icon um, or whatever. Hope that makes sense for the coordinates and stuff. Otherwise, it will not work because you have to use coordinates. So I have my map. And remember, make sure to remember this number. So this is the second map. Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to put um, my uh, my little icon right here. I want to put my little red X right here. Um, I have to look at the coordinates. So as you can see right up here, kind of hard to see, but this is the X coordinate and this is a Z coordinate. These are the only two coordinates you'll need. You won't need the Y coordinate. So th um, you just need nine the coordinates for x are just 9, and then z is minus 1, 3, 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my program, as you can see. Um, sorry if it's a little bit dark, but you're going to use mcstacker.net. And I can actually leave a link to um, like a basic, like, you know, layout. So... I'll just leave a link, I'll just, not a link, sorry. I'll leave like little text that you can copy and paste. And all you need to do is click import and then put the command into there. Um, put the command that I link in the description into here. And then it will like, you know, you have your map stuff and you can customize it. Have a little like preset so you can customize it. But uh, if you don't want to do that, as you can see, you just need this. Um, just needs to look like this. And then um, you can also put a name, as you can see right here. I'm naming mine Buried Treasure Map. And you can change the color, um, you know, I can do bold, italic, on um, anything I want, I can change the color right here. And then you can also do a font. Um, optional, the resource location of the font for this component in the resource pack within assets, font. Um, I'm not going to do this. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do this. Um, just ignore this. This is count one. So like if you want to make multiple. So if you wanted to make multiple, you just put like 10 or how many you want. I'm just going to do one. Um, this may not work, but just, you know, I'm going to use one for now. And then you can change the map color. This changes the, um, not the whole thing. It changes part of the, um, let me show you. So do you see right here the, um, the brown parts on the map? It changes that color of the map. And I will show you that. I'll just use um, like a bright red. And then here are the decorations. So this is the important part. This is where the um, this is where the icon, where you want to put the icon. And that's why we got those coordinates because we're deciding where we want to put the red X. So if you you can also do other icons. Like you can do um, like a small white dot. You can do woodland mansion. These are all the ones you can use. You can't put a custom icon, I don't think, into here. Um, but these are the ones available. So I'm gonna do the red X because it's gonna be buried treasure. Um, and this is the, this important, this map right here, this is going to be, um, the number of your map that you want to use, um, for your treasure map. So this is the one I want to use. So I'm going to use this map and this one's number two. So I have to put number two in here. I have to put number two in this slot because it's the second map on the world. Um, Make sure that's really important that you do that. Otherwise, it will not work if you don't do that. Um, and you have to be, you have to make it already. It won't work if you just choose like, I don't know, 132 for the map number. It won't work because it has to be a pre-existing pre map already. 
Um, and I just made a map, so that's number two. So I'm going to put number two in there. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but um, here are the coordinates. So this is where the red X is going to show. So I'm just going to look on the coordinates again. So this is the X coordinate. So we're going to put nine and then minus 132. So just leave this empty. And then up here, you are going to click copy. And then this is where the cheats comes into play. So you want to just copy and paste it. And here we go. And as you can see, the uh, the red text is there. The little red, um, the red bits are there. And it's called Bear Treasure Map. And as you can see, it's in the spot that I chose. And the original map also has this X. And I believe what it's doing is replacing the um, old map um, using the map that you already created to put the red X and it like replaces the file. I think I'm not completely sure, but yeah, it doesn't have to be in a new spot, but I'm just going to do a new spot, but you also can't reuse the same map. You can't reuse the same map number. I don't think so. If you want to do another treasure map with like a different location and all that with a completely like another treasure map, you'll have to do, uh, you have to make a new treasure map. You won't be able to use the same number. I don't think, um, so I'm going to make a new map. Just put that up here, as you can see. And we're going to put a different icon this time. And let's do a different color. Let's do bright pink. And then I'm going to change the color. I want this to be... I want this to be light purple, as you can see. And then let's do italic. Why not? This is like... Oh, definitely not that. We can also do strike through let's do underlined as well and then uh let's see here you can also change this um i wouldn't change other stuff um you can experiment with this but um if you want to do the exact same thing that i'm doing just use all of this and you shouldn't have to change anything um so i'm gonna do a different icon so let's do let's go with a full pink theme so let's do a pink banner and then since this is the Third map, I'm going to put number three in that slot. Um, 255 minus 31. So this is number three. 255 minus 30, 31. Is that it? Let me check. Yep, and you don't have to put any of these. Um, I forgot to say, you don't have to put any of these um, these um, extra numbers in here. You just want to put the first ones. Um, you don't want to put any numbers after the dot, and you don't want to put the dot in there in the um the text spot and then there we go we got that then just click copy up here there we go very treasure map that's the pink one now if you um it, now if you don't want to put um a name if you see that little red x right here you just do that and then there we go you don't have text anymore you can add, I think you can also add multiple decorations if you want to. You can add multiple spots. Um, like if I add another one and I do a, um, if I put a red marker and then um, we're going to make a new map for this. Um, let's actually do three. So we're going to do one has red X, one has red marker, and then one like an orange banner or something like that. One six, one six five minus one four one. One six five minus one four one, and then we're gonna pick a different location for a different icon. So we're just gonna do it over here, and then that's gonna be one zero five one six five or minus one six five. One zero five minus one six five, and then for our third one, we're just gonna go uh, over here. And I'm going to do 97 minus 116. 97 minus 116. That should be it. And then I'll just do, I can do a new name. There we go. Uh, so. And then this one's going to be bold. And then we're going to do the color is going to be. You can also do hex code for custom color. I've got to show you guys that. Um, but we're going to do that. There we go. 
Um, yeah, this is the custom color, and then you can just, you know, do whatever color you want. I'm going to do blue. Or do you want, let's do like a more like unique color. So let's do like a, let's do like a sage green. There we go. That's a sage. And then it's going to be bold. That all looks right. Copy that. Ooh, wait, we might have ran out of space. Hold on. If that happens, we're just going to give Yemitz, give Yemitz pizza command underscore block. There we go. There we go. And uh, as you can see, it was, I believe it was too long to put into here. So if it gets too long, just put it in a command block. And we're going to put a button. The entity executing command nearest player. So we're going to have to do nearest player for this one. That's probably why it wasn't working. Because this was entity executing the command. There we go. There we go. So that worked. Um, and we have all three of them. Nice. Um, so yeah, if you want to do, um, a longer text, you will need to put it in a command block, as you can see like that, because it's too long for me to type it out because there's, um, a limit. Um, that's why it was not working. Um, but as you can see, this works, just put it on a command block, um, and that will work. Uh, and then make sure that, um, the reason why that didn't work at first the reason why that didn't work at first was because I did entity executing the command and the command block was actually executing the command. So that's why it wasn't working. Um, so I'm going to do um, nearest player. I'm going to leave that, you know, for the copy and paste thing down in the description. Um, but yeah, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you and was what you wanted. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to help you. But I probably most likely will not be able to help you if it's something very specific. So yeah, um, if you guys, uh, you know, enjoy the video and uh, this helped you, leave a like and yeah, I will see you all later. Bye bye